Welcome to Meddling World. Today, it's all about Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas, what we like, what we didn't like, and a little bit of comparison to some other cruises. Come on in, check it out. All right, let's get right into it. We love to make this vlog, Roberta, yes. because we are fresh off our Oasis of the Seas, Royal Caribbean, the yes. original Oasis class ship. So this ship, when it first came out, I believe 2009, around there, it was the biggest cruise ship in the world. Yes. And still is one of the biggest cruise ships in the yes. world. I th it seems like every cruise ship now is the biggest in the world. That's what they all say. <laughs> but anyway, let's get right into Before we even got on the ship, we sailed out of the port of Miami. Miami, yes. We arrived on a Sunday which yeah. is probably not the greatest day to arrive in the port of Miami because every single terminal had a cruise ship in it, literally. Yes. So there were thousands good. of people trying to get into the port. Correct. And if you're coming from Central Florida, the way you come in, yes. Royal Caribbean is um, Terminal A, yeah. which you think, oh, A, first letter of the alphabet. Oh, yes, but it's all the way at the end of the terminal. Correct. Serious traffic issues? Yeah. There were so many uh, passengers, um, so many people traveling this day to all the different ships. We had a 12, uh, 12 p.m. arrival. We left yeah. plenty of time to get there. Correct. We actually got to the port. It was about 11. Yeah. But it took an hour to go two miles. Correct. <laughs> and by the time we did reach uh, the Royal Caribbean Terminal A, the parking was full. So after we waited all that way, we got there. Oh, sorry, we're full. And we had to park two miles away. Correct. Which was another Terminal G. Yeah. Terrible mess yeah. to get to. Um but uh we ended up parking in um lot J term Correct. um which is an older parking garage. Yeah. Worked out okay because we got to park for free. Yes. I don't know if that's the case every time in this particular Correct. lot, but, but for us go ahead, Roberta. They also have in construction right now. Which that could be one of the reasons for the traffic. Oh, it was bad. So, so <clears throat> point being is, if you are going on a Sunday, probably yes. to any of the... Well, if you're one of the first cruise terminals, you might be okay. But if you're yeah. going on Royal on a Sunday, check to see how many cruise ships or any right. of the days that you're going. See how many cruise ships are in there. Traffic is serious issue and the garage is very small for Royal. Right. Get there as early as you can so you can park yes. on site. So just a little bit of really uh, not a great experience especially getting leaving. there. Yeah, especially when we and did leaving was disembark. awesome. There was no organization. There was not like a queue. Everybody just you know got themselves together, and so it was not really a line. So it was very. And what Roberta you're talking <clears throat> about is to get to Lot J specifically to, once you get off the ship. We right? missed like three buses because it was no organization at all. It was, it was not a queue. It was nothing. So if you end up in Lot J, yes, it's going to maybe be free for you. That I can't speak yeah. on. But What's free for us? give yourself. You'll be frustrated. Okay. Yes. So parking was definitely frustrating. That is a negative on the port of Miami, Royal Caribbean yes. in particular. Big negative. Yes. Let's keep moving, Roberta. Let's get right into now we're on the ship. We're happy. Yeah. We oh, finally yeah. did get on the ship. Yes. Uh, and then, you know, the good thing is that once you get on a ship, that kind of just left your mind, yes. right? It left my mind. I was like, who cares now? We're here. Yeah. First thing I want to talk about is the crew members on this ship. Oh, yeah. What did you think of the crew members, Roberta, they, and the service that they provided us? They were amazing. They were great. They were great. Like, we, we actually, we made so many friends in there. Yeah. The crew members, and they like to... to to actually talk, you know, and have conversations and talk Excellent. about their, like, the ship and how they got there and everything else. And they were very proud to work for Royal Caribbean. They were very, everybody, it's, all everybody the crew members. Everybody was just, like, happy about it. And very experienced crew Correct. members. When I was yes. talking to them, I've been here for five years, I've been here for six years, I've yes. been here for four years. There were, <clears throat> and one guy was here 17 years. Yes. There was yeah. a very uh, oasis right now, anyway, with some of the yes. current contract workers on there. Very experienced crew. Yeah. Excellent service. Yes. Excellent service. So Correct. no issues at all with yes. service. Correct. Let's keep this thing moving. So that is definitely something we loved. We loved. Not just like yes. love. Speaking of love, guys, give us a thumbs up, please. 
Please subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. We yeah. love to cruise. We love to do Disney. We do all kinds of awesome travel vlogs. Yes. But these vlogs are the best because we get to just go at it <laughs> and have a good time. Right, let's get into something else. And now this, we'll talk about Oasis of the Sea specifically. But in general, this is just kind of for all of the Royal Caribbean yes. cruises we've been on. We enjoy what is called the, which package do we get for refreshment. the? Refreshment. Refreshment package. Yes. Now, there's three different beverage package options for Royals. So, yes, with your cruise fare, there are beverages included, which I believe is iced tea. Lemonade. Go ahead, Roberta. Iced tea, lemonade, and some juices for breakfast. Yeah. So. Uh, and when you go into the wind jammer, yeah. you will see that there are beverages. They'll have them all set up. They have yes. milk, chocolate milk. Yes. They have definitely water, obviously. And they would have different juices. Every time you went yes. in, though, there were there was a few options. There was some options. So even Coffee if and tea, yeah. if you don't get a cruise pack, if you don't get a beverage package, there are options. Options, yes. Um, but what we like, well, yeah. we do two different packages. Jake gets what's called the soda package. Yeah. So the soda package covers all yeah. soda, everything yeah. included plus soda. Yes. Um, and you get a nice freestyle cup. And you can use that at the freestyle yeah. machines. There's three locations on the ship. Actually, I'll give you those locations right now if you're wondering about the beverage package. There are two um, freestyle Coca-Cola machines at Sorrento's Pizza. Yeah. Roberta, where's the other one? Windjammer. Windjammer has a couple, so yes. that, which is very convenient. And when we're saying the word Windjammer, that is the buffet, which is also yes. included. And then there is one more up at a local fresh, Correct. which is on the main pool deck. There is another yeah. freestyle machine. So they're Coca-Cola freestyle machines. It's endless, like, they, but they yeah. don't just have soda. They have Powerade, they have lemonade, they Correct. have iced yes. tea. They, they even have seltzer, bubbly. Yes. Um, so that is a great package. Jake gets that. And I think with the discount, it was like $9.99 or something. Yeah, $10 around there. Um, so that's definitely worth it. But what R Roberta and I like is what they call a refreshment package. But the discount that we are talking about, it is the pre-cruise. Pre -cruise. Pre if you're discount. interested in any of these drink packages, to save the most money, check pre before you cruise, yes. pre-cruise. And listen, if you get it and, it, and it, you find it cheaper later, you can call and they will adjust that for you. Yes. So what Roberta and I like to get, because we're not, we, we're not alcohol drinkers. Yeah. Uh, they do have an alcohol package which covers everything. Um, yeah. I can't really talk about that too much because I don't know the exact details. But as far as I know, it's alcohol and yeah. it's it's pretty much every drink, right? Except yeah. there's probably a few specialty yes. things. Uh, but what we like, it's called the uh, refreshment package, which includes every beverage except alcohol beverages. Yes. So, Roberta, I'll talk a little bit about that because you know how much I love the beverage package. I get up my money's worth. And I think <laughs> yes, that's around we what we paid pre-cruise discount was about $32 a day. Yeah, $30, $32 around But that, that, that includes Red Bull. Yeah. That includes Pellegrino, yeah. bottled Pellegrino. That includes specialty coffees. Yeah, um, bottled water. Bottled water. Bottled juice. Mocktails, fresh squeezed juice, Vitality Cafe. Yeah. Yeah. with They make fresh smoothies, yeah. and it is unbelievable package. And if you do enjoy relaxing and having some nice beverages during the day, you can hit $32 very easily with that package. Yes. We were killing it. Milkshake at Johnny Rockets. Milkshakes at Johnny Rockets. It is an excellent package. I will highly recommend it if you just want to say, I can pay for this now and I don't have to worry. Correct. The mocktails are amazing, One huh? One thing they did, they said it was not covered was the milkshake in the breakfast was a specialty milkshake at Johnny Rockets. Oh, yes. So if That was you, the only thing. You're right, Roberta. Go ahead. Let's tell let, them tell why. When we had breakfast at Johnny Rockets, they did mention that that milkshake for breakfast, which is the... Maple syrup with bacon. Maple with bacon milkshake. Yeah. Uh, they said that one was not including, but a little bit of comparison, it was included on Harmony of the Sea. Yeah, it was. So yeah. well, that's the only thing. And one thing about the refreshment package and the other packages does not include Starbucks at 
the Starbucks cafe. location. Correct, Starbucks location. The cafe promenade, they, they do serve Starbucks coffee. <laughs> yeah. Which you could have in there. So if you really want a Starbucks coffee, you go to the promenade cafe yeah. and it's included. But if yes. you go to Starbucks, it's not. Now listen, if you're a big Starbucks fan and you yes. know I want the Batiste, uh, what do they call Batiste? Yeah. Batista. Thank you, Roberta. <laughs> Uh, the awesome crew members that make those great drinks yeah. at Starbucks. Starbucks on the cruise ship accepts Starbucks gift cards yes. and stars. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a real Starbucks. Yes. Um, so I think that pretty much covers the drink package. And again, I'm, I'm going to highly recommend. Uh, I mean, if you, if you, if you just like to, to give, relax, enjoy, because also... We are, we're not talking we, about that yet, but the entertainment we you you can use yeah on yeah. theater. We'll, we'll, we'll touch uh, on yes. that when we get to entertainment. But yes. again, yes. So if you're at the show, right? Yes. Yeah, I want to. And the soda package is also great because if you're at entertainment, you have a soda package. You yes. can order a soda, and Correct. sometimes they bring you a can. <laughs> you know, because it's not supposed to be canned, but a lot of times they will bring you a can. So I'm gonna say that's one thing that I really like about Royal. Uh, oh, I wanted to give a little example. Think about how much a can of Red Bull costs or yes. how much a specialty coffee costs yes. and bottles of water. Listen, if $32 will add up quickly. Correct. Definitely but add if, up quickly. If you don't want to, and like I said, they have plenty of it's drinks. All, it's an option. And you can just bring like a water bottle with you and it just, you know. Yeah, you can. You don't yeah, have to have correct. it. Yeah. I like it because it's just... I like to enjoy yes. and just say, yeah, I want cruise. this, I want yeah. that, I want this, I'm on a cruise, I'm going to just live my life and, and yes. do it. So, a lot about the drink package, but very important, people want to know about drink packages. Yes. So, definitely <clears throat> love the yes. drink package. Let's just keep moving and we're going to get, I do see guys have a little cheat notes here. Yeah. But this is just what it is. We, we just talk about it and yes. we, just like we make our cruise vlogs, we are real about you're having a conversation with us because yes. we anticipate you guys said, oh, what about the drink package? That's why we said that. See, <laughs> we know. So now we're going to talk about, oh, let's talk about this service, Roberta. You were mentioning the beverage. Let's, in particular, we'll talk about the beverage service uh, and yes. some of the services in the restaurants. We talked about just the crew members in general. Yes. Go ahead. Give some opinions. How did you like the, uh, the servers we had in our dining it was amazing. <laughs> so we had Dua and Ida. Um, they were very cool. They were good. Like, we like to have the same service every night. Yes. Because we like to get to know them and as well as they get to know us and give them opportunity to actually serve us better. Because yeah. when they get to know you and like the drinks that you like it or like my allergies, like the second day we came back, he was like, "No, you have a, it's like you have knowledge for this." Yes, and I already had our drinks ready, so I think for us it's important. And also, when you do request the same service, if you like your your server, requesting the same service, especially if you have my time dining, it will also help them move it up with yes. with Royal Caribbean because that help Royal Caribbean understanding that they are good and they deserve like you know maybe like a little bit like a promotion or sure. better yeah, shift yeah. so uh, so we did enjoy oh it was great i yes. mean and the only thing i want to add to that is the head waiter raja yes. oh yeah the head waiter he was <laughs> like he i've been on enough cruises in the past year or two on our channel Usually you don't hear much from the head waiter. Like no, I, he was really He good. came every night, talked to us, brought us out extra food sometimes. Yes. We'll get into the dining, but his service was excellent. Yes. And how they treated Jake. Correct. You guys, I know you yes. love Jake, especially on the cruises. You get to see Jake yes. like you never see him. It's just like, I love this. Yeah. They were teaching him like, hey, this is how you can cut, yeah. you know, cut your steak. And this is how you can do this. And... They just treated him like he was a, an adult, yes. but with the kindness correct, and the gentleness yeah. of he's a kid, but we're going to show him that he's a grown up. Yeah. He's, you know, <laughs> so Jake just absolutely loved it. He yeah. was eating steaks and shrimps. And yeah. Also the service in the pool. You wouldn't wait like what? Three minutes, yeah. five minutes to get somebody to. 
Yeah. You, that's why I love that drink package. You sit down at, at the pool deck. Or if you decide to go to the bar, there is plenty. Plenty, plenty of bartenders. Bartenders, yeah. You don't have to wait for drinks on Royal no, Caribbean. Not at all. And we're going to get into our comparison Correct. at the end of like what also, we like and didn't also like. Also, on a theater, wait. you know, they are constantly coming. Oh, yeah. Any entertainment you go to in, yes. in a particular, we'll talk about entertainment, Venue, yeah. but specifically with, with beverage service, yeah. the theaters... Ah, uh, ice skating, wherever yes. you're at, you want to drink, you want to drink, you want to drink. Like, yes. they are they are very, very excellent. And that's one thing I love about Royal. Yes. So definitely thumbs up for the yes. beverage service and our waiter, wait staff service. Yes. We already did a uh, our room. We talked, we have a separate vlog if you're interested about just, for the, just room. the room. We did a tour of the room and yeah. then a review of the room like this obviously a lot less time consuming so if you want to know about the room we'll put a link here and you can yes. learn all about the room <clears throat> so let's move right along to uh we're just talking about food so one thing i love about royal roberta is the included yes. food options in your cruise fare you pay for your cruise yes roberta talk about some of the things that are included in this cruise it's amazing because you do not have to go far and that's oh. one of the things that, of course, comparing. Well, we're going to get our yeah. comparisons, believe me. Um, you have on the uh, fifth floor, which is the main... Roberta, I have to stand corrected <laughs> because somebody just said this. On cruise ships, they're not called floors. They're called <laughs> decks. I know. I heard you guys. No, they're not floors. They're decks. I'm yes. just kidding with you. But no, they... <laughs> They, you a, know, yeah, they, a, I know you yeah. hardcore cruisers. They're not yeah. floors. They're decks. Yeah. The fifth, Continue, yeah. Roberta. <laughs> the fifth deck. So yeah. you have food options. Oh, yeah. You have on a boardwalk, you have food options. And you have so many. Central Park. So everywhere that you go, you have food options. You have included food options. Correct. In some of the examples, Roberta, uh, just on the promenade deck five, yes. Sorrento's Pizza, Pizza yeah. and Cafe Promenade yeah. has snacks. Yes. Uh, those two things right there, boom, all yeah. included. Yeah. Okay. You go up to the boardwalk, Roberta. Yeah. Boardwalk dogs. Yes. And Johnny Rockets in the morning. Johnny Rockets for breakfast. Correct. We can continue on and on. You yeah. go down the other end of the ship, you have Vitality Cafe, which Correct. is on deck six. If you're interested in learning about this ship, I have a whole tour of the yes. ship. Vitality Cafe, which will have like carrot cakes. Yes. Yeah, and some small breads. Cakes, yeah. And again, all those beverages. Uh, you yeah. have the Windjammer buffet Correct. included. You have the main dining. Yes. I mean... I'm probably, oh, Park Cafe, as you mentioned. Yeah. So all these neighborhoods, Roberta's- the taco. Ta the ta on the pool deck. Yes. Taco Lo, of, yes. Uh, uh, El Fresh. Yeah. Yes. I mean, there's so much included food. Yes. For us, we did not feel we needed the um, extra dining, the yes. dining package, the specialty restaurants, although we have experienced yeah. on our last I think cruise. on a longer cruise. I think that because it was so short, like, you know, we had a four day cruise. I think that we didn't feel like we needed to. Like when the seven day, we did try Giovanni's on yeah. Harmony. Yeah. But this time I don't think there was so much food included that I don't think we had and soft serve ice cream. Oh yeah, <laughs> you got your ice cream. Look for the red umbrellas, you'll find your ice cream. And a pool deck, yes. Uh, actually, we did not have Gio Giovanni's. We had Jamie's. Jamie's, yeah. yeah. Giovanni was in this one. Yeah. So I'm sorry. So James. there's some different restaurants, but it was yes. the Italian restaurant. The, the Italian restaurant. Which was great. Yeah. Especially yeah. dessert, because they brought us every single thing on dessert. It was great. We have a vlog about that, too. Yeah. So, yes, included food on Royal Caribbean is amazing. Yes. Don't worry, comparisons are coming. And we're going to rank <clears throat> a little bit of some of these cruises. Yeah. All right. I think that pretty much covers that. And like I said, if you want the extra dining, I think, Roberta, you're right. If it's a seven-nighter... Yeah, maybe you want to switch it up a little bit and have a, maybe a couple nights where you can go to a specialty restaurant. But this ship's so huge over four yes. nights, I didn't feel like I needed anything extra. No. Yes. And the main dining room in particular, the food, talking about food options, Yes. the food was excellent. It was by far, I'll say it now, the best food on any cruise Definitely yes. was the best food we've had. And part of the reason was I was talking to the maitre d' yeah. in the main dining room. He said the head chef right now on Oasis, under contract, 
is the award-winning chef for yeah. the entire fleet of Royal Caribbean. It so was, he's the best of the best. And I was like, it's it, the food. If you saw the vlogs, the food yeah. was great. Everything because was really good. If you watch the other vlogs from Royal Caribbean, the food was yeah, always yeah, it's nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was like ah, it's okay. No, this was this excellent. This one was. I think it was like maybe a couple, a little thing here and there, oh, but, but is, yes. overall was always really good. Yes. So I think that covers a lot of the the food options, Roberta. What are we moving into next? Oh, we just wanted to hit on the internet package that we got. Yes. Yes. Work great. Yes. And we got go one ahead. device only. Yeah. But even with one device, what happened is you can switch. So it doesn't have to be, in a, you know, one phone only or one device only. So if you're using, yeah. for an example, a laptop and I want to use my phone, I could swap it. And there is an option for you. So you don't have to be concerned about like, oh, I'm going to get charged for two. You could add another one. You can add as many. But you just put, you select the option switch devices. That's it. And then, you know, the other person will lose the internet and you get, you connect to yours. Yeah. So it was very good. It was, it was excellent. It to, worked great. Yes. And to be honest with you, I think that Royal Caribbean app crashed a couple of times. Yeah, just the app itself. Just the app itself, but not the internet. The internet worked great. The yes. app, you know, apps to have that and they yes. happen. But the internet worked very good. A couple of times we got disconnected, but I think it's just probably a safety thing. And that particular ship has the Starlink. Yes. Um, now, I don't know if all the fleet has that, but we I never had one issue. And we usually do not like having internet on a ship yeah, because we like, we to, like to I usually yeah. take my phone the first yeah. day I get there and I put it in the in the safe and I never take it out Roberta yeah. carries hers for pictures yeah and using the app but I I just like <laughs> I'm old school look Def Leppard come on man <laughs> so I have no problem leaving my phone like oh yeah, this is great yeah. I don't need to look at a phone uh, I just want to make great vlogs for everybody <laughs> So the yeah. internet again was and was they great. have an entire desk that yes that they, they are able to assist you. Also, yep. we went there and they were able to show me how to do everything, how to disconnect. Yeah. So they were able to assist you, especially on the first day on your vacation day, and that's a good yeah advice too from us. I think with so uh, quite a few cruises that we were in, we try to take care of the business first. Yeah, you'll see that uh, if you watch the embarkation yes. day. One thing important just to touch on it is right when we get on a ship, we take care of everything we need to. If, yeah. if you did have specialty dining, if you had a problem with, we had like the, my time, we Correct. had to straighten that out. We got our beverage packages all yeah. set up. We make sure we had all our reservations for everything, the shows, we, and you just, the muster. We get it all done. We take like an hour, get everything done. Talking about reservations, <laughs> just quick. Um, this one, we were able to reserve the main shows yeah before our cruise so royal has Correct. definitely updated that yes but not smaller things like uh the ice skating that we had to do we had to do like in, in person but uh the laser tag the laser tag we had to do also during our yeah our ship like where why we're in a ship doing our cruise not before well now that you're talking about entertainment let's go right into it <laughs> yes entertainment in this one it was so good <laughs> so yeah it was it was great yes i don't think the ice skating in particular was our favorite uh i think the comparing a little bit to other royal caribbean cruises yeah, i well, think we should, like the yeah. other entertainment for ice skating a little bit uh was more our style uh but the ice skating itself like they had so much talent oh absolutely yes yeah. but the show itself the show wasn't itself was just, correct. it was kind of like, I found it kind of boring. A little bit, yes. Um, but, yes, no, the, the skaters are excellent. Yes, yes. Um, so, of course, I appreciate in like, yes. like, wow, they're not just like some people skating down at the park. Like, <laughs> these are like, they have talent. they're doing triple axles and all of this. Yes. It was just some of the, uh, I really didn't know what the show was about, honestly. <laughs> so... Uh, if you we go back in Aces, for an example, and they do have their show, I will probably not go again. Yeah. So uh, it, just put it like that. And yeah, the other shows, you know, I will definitely go again. And one of the shows we got to see was, was the, Cats. Uh, Cats. Oh, Cats. Cats oh was God. great, man. <laughs> Cats was Very great. big when it came out. I was talking yes. to Roberta about this because obviously Roberta being from Brazil, that came out when I was a kid in the 80s. Yeah. I was like eight or nine maybe when it came out. 
kind of mid, early mid eighties, and it was a huge Broadway in New York yeah. City. I lived in Connecticut. I remember everybody going to New York to watch that. Yeah. And my parents went when I was a kid, but I finally got to see it, and it was great. It is a long show. It's an hour and a half. Oh, but great, so good for show. Your, for your schedule, just to, to keep in mind that it's 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 long, but it was great. Even Jake and the Jake talent. doesn't like to sit for long things. For long things, just yes. the, the the costumes and yes. the singing and the story about what was going talent. on. Yes. they were great. They were they were great. And then let's go right into the Aqua Eighty, Roberta. <laughs> Aqua Eighty was wow. so cool. The Aqua Show, which is in the aft <laughs> on the boardwalk, they have an Aqua Theater there. Wow, yes. do not miss. Aqua 80 if yes. you're going on Oasis. In fact, any of the ships, when they have the Aqua show, yes. don't miss it. Uh, we got lucky enough to see one on Harmony. Yes, and if you guys did watch our, uh, our vlogs, it is the first one got canceled. Yes. Because of the, it was, if you guys actually watch our belly flop competition and you could see how <laughs> It was a wave much, pool. It was a wave pool. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> the, this, the, that's like, yes. there were waves in the pool yes. and they were the not kids little were having so much fun it was literally like jake was, was like Woo -hoo. Oh, yeah. even the contestants like yes. you know, kind of help them get out yes ride the wave to the to the deck yes but yes but even the belly flops yeah. and aqua 80 and the trivia there's so much to do so much to do yes there's so much to do on royal and that is what we love about royal correct so yes. Huge sum up for entertainment and, and activities. Yeah, all the activities in the pool. Laser deck, tag. We didn't yes. even talk about laser oh tag. Oh my gosh. Laser I tag never, was so I've cool. never played laser tag. That was so fun, man. Like yes. the memories of doing that. Like, oh, that's such that a was, great memory of yes. that cruise ship because it was something new that I've never done. So, so just ice for skating. You, so just for you guys to have an, uh, skate. a little bit of idea that Matthew it was vlogging and uh, he was doing the ship tour, part of the ship tour. And uh, in the meantime, Jake like, can we do it again? Can we do it again? Yeah, because they, they needed, two times, yeah. They needed an uh, extra, because you need a minimum of 10 people. Yeah. And they need extra people. And Jake like, can we do it again? And then Matthew was doing the, the tour a little bit. And, and me and Jake, we got to do it again. Yeah, they did it, it twice so in a row. I didn't, yeah. We didn't vlog twice <laughs> in a row because we had just done it. But Roberta yeah. and Jake said, oh, we'll go play again. Yes. And it keeps track of like your stats at the end. You can see. Yes, how many And that ahead. is in the ice skating uh, arena area Correct. studio b really cool yes. and they also in studio b have an open ice skating yes where you can actually go ice skating yes jake and, and roberta did session, that yes. and we did vlog that so we had the silence the silence silent dance party yes. but that was up on uh promenade deck five yes. at valerio's Bol valeros yes. valeros there's just so much to do so much to do yes. there's so much to do they have theming parties at night on the promenade yes. uh and Oh, one thing that we did not touch much, uh, we did not talk much about in this cruise was they have escape room. Yes, they do have an escape Jake room. Jake is 11 as of right now that we're recording this video and the escape room was 12 years old. Yeah, so, yeah, do, you have to be 12. 12 so years we didn't old. do that. And plus it's also, it's a pay, like the laser tag is free. It's it's complimentary. Yeah, everything we've you. been talking about is all it's is all included. All so, the entertainment and also that we've the, been talking about. The escape room, it's paid and you have to schedule. So yeah. I think in our cruise was around like twenty dollars per person. I think so. I can't around remember. There. I can't we didn't, exactly we didn't remember. Do it. Yeah, but it was twelve years old, and Jake could not do it. The escape room. Right. So and plus, I don't think the same thing with the laser tag. I don't think they they will allow us to record. But it's so much to do. There is. It's great, and I think now's a great time to get right up to the pool deck because we're talking yes. about just having pool fun deck, yeah. and. As you're hearing so far, everything's been really good about this cruise. Yes. Not a lot of negatives. Yes. Um, so the pool deck, oh man, the pool deck, it was so fun. Yes. And I just want, Roberta, can I, okay, yeah. I I'm so happy because you're just like, <laughs> sometimes Roberta is a little bit quiet, like, oh, I don't want to say too much, but wow, she's just spitting it out. So you know how much <laughs> she loved this cruise. Yeah. And I'm learning to just be quiet, man. Don't interrupt your wife because happy wife, happy life, right? Yes. See? Yeah. <laughs> now, the pool deck. Yes. I remember being on Harmony. I don't know the vibe is something, but I, I felt a little bit like I liked it, but because yeah. of those neighborhoods, they have those big holes. Yes. For some, in the pool deck, you'll yes. see as I'm vlogging, like you have to kind of walk around and get to the other side because of the Central Park and the um, boardwalk. Correct. I don't know why, but on this cruise ship, it never even like, 
I never, I don't know, maybe I was used to it, but... Yeah, maybe it was that, yeah, getting used to it. But the pool deck was just great, man. I love this pool deck. I love the colors of the pool yes. deck. I love, they had like those nice kind of big chairs too. Yes. And I still miss one thing. What? Having a TV. Yeah, a, mo a big monitor to Correct. watch movies yes. or trivia. That I, I do miss it. They don't have it on they either have of the on Oasis. Aqua show. They have on uh, yeah. the Aqua Theater. But they don't really use it. No. Uh, so I do miss it on the pool deck because there's a lot of times when you're on the pool deck, yeah, you're relaxing, but you look up and it's do doing trivia or there's yes. a movie and at night. Cool. And it's yeah. nice to go up there and just say, oh, let's just go even if we right. just hang out for a little while. But with even that being said, the pool deck is amazing. They have included food up there, as we were mentioning, yeah. the El Fresh. Yeah, the Splash also. Oh, the Splash Away Bay. Correct. Is really nice it's on really this cruise cool ship. This one. And they had that baby area, which yes. is kind of underneath Over, the covering yes. area. Oh, it's they had cool. plenty of uh, hot tubs. They had this sol uh, solarium. Solarium, yes. In the solarium, there, there is a pool. There's a pool in the solarium. Which was a little bit different than Harmony. Harmony didn't have, Harmony a, pool didn't have a pool in it. Correct. And they have those really big hot tubs. And this cruise, we had a little bit of a later crowd. The, the, yes, we so, did. So uh, the crowd in this cruise, they were actually waking up a little bit later. For the majority. Correct. Yeah, the so majority if you, of especially if you like to wake up early and, you know, like to be in a pool deck. Yeah. I'm, it oh. was empty. A lot of times. I to. never, even on sea days, we'd go up there yeah. at like 10.30 in the morning. Yeah. It's unheard of on a sea day to get to the pool deck at 10.30. And the finest spot. <laughs> and not just finest spot, plenty yeah. of spots. So, Roberta, as you are saying, you kind of get a trend of the crowd. The on crowd a Fortnite, a yes. I mean, they're kind of, what they go by so quick, it's kind of, you know, it takes you a couple nights. Oh, this is kind of yes. a late crowd or an early crowd. So, yes, there was definitely families on a cruise, but there yeah. was a lot of people just kind of enjoying a lot of nightlife. Correct. We yes. enjoy nightlife, but there was people really enjoying yes. nightlife. Yes, uh, As we're getting ready to go in, they're just getting ready to have a good time. Correct. Um, so... In the pool deck, also oh, the towels. Yes. So, the same thing. It is complimentary. Yeah. Then you use your card, but if you do not return it, then they they charge you like um, twenty five dollars. Yeah, you mm -hmm. just go. You you check. It's like checking in, checking, checking out your out, towels. Yes. That's it. You just bring your card. How many you want? When you bring them back, you throw them in the dump, the the dirty yes. bin, and they scan it back in. That's all it That's is. That's all what it is. But so the pool deck is very entertaining. Yes. Uh the water slide. I like that. The where the main kind of main pools are. That's where the water slides are. Yes. I do like that on Oasis class. And then you have the flow rider and a zip line and right a mini golf back. and all that in the aft. Which, yes. Which is, you know, it's kind of separated and it helps with the crowds. Correct. And I just want to touch on crowds. I never felt crowded on this cruise. No, I mean, Ever. Yes. And this whole, it was over 6,000 passengers. Yes. It was, it was over capacity like most cruises yes. are now. And we didn't feel like it. I was. never yes. felt like, oh my gosh, there's so many people here. Yeah, it might have been a couple times where, yeah. oh, there's people, but I never felt like, oh, this is. This is out of control Correct. ever. So they have a great way of kind of yes. placing things, like the engineering and design, the architect yes. of the ship. But the pool deck was great. We loved it. Absolutely loved the pool deck. Yes. Uh, one thing I want to talk about on a pool deck, especially on a four night cruise, because how big this ship is, pay attention to the hours of the flow rider, the hours of the zip yes. line. Those things have a tendency to have kind of strange hours sometimes yes. where they might be open in the morning then close for several hours and then yes. open later in the afternoon because with the zip line we had a hard time track getting with the hour schedule getting to the zip line yeah i didn't get a like chance it. to do it not you know i've done it. it wasn't like i had to do it but it just seemed like every time i went back there was closed yes. in fact i thought at one point it was broken <laughs> yeah, but it was it was open it was it's open which is yeah. very limited so yeah, pay attention to the times and if that's your priority Correct. You're just yeah. trying to work around your schedule. And, yeah. uh, and the flow rider, because sometimes they divide it, but it gets busy and it it takes a few times for each person. Yeah. So if you're there early when they first open, I yeah, think that's can, one of the best times to go. If, if yeah. you see like, oh, there's only five people in line, but you have to keep in mind around every person's around five minutes. 
Oh yeah, it's so uh, if it's a like few, in, few chances on it, they, correct. they're really cool yeah, to let so you enjoy to it, enjoy and have your time. But if there's five, six people in line, we're talking about half an hour wait. Oh yeah, and it can get busy. You correct. can get 10, 12 people in front of you. So just keep in mind that's why sometimes they do have a divider, so you're gonna have a smaller. So if you're there early when they first open, um, then it'll be probably a little bit. Get there right away, correct. Get you, and you have to sign the uh, waiver. Do yeah, all that. And they have the sport court. You know, oh, you got they everything. have so much to do. Yeah. Uh, we we don't talk much about the the kids club because Jake doesn't really go to the kids club. That's but right. They are very. We show on a tour. You know of the. Actually, no. It's a day two. Day we two. show a little bit of yeah the, i get a little bit more and it's showing around on the tour i do show you where it is but it wasn't open at that yes time. let's keep it moving guys because i want to talk about the cleanliness of the ship yes so far it, this is what we liked and didn't like yes i think it's more like what we liked Girl. <laughs> I, I might you know listen when we're vlogging cruises and yes. we go on a cruise if you've seen our other ones our other wrap up and we we definitely tell you about negative yes. things Without a doubt, but there's not a lot of negatives on this Oasis class no. ship we went on. Ah, uh, the Oasis of the Sea. The cleanliness of the ship I thought was excellent. Yep. Phenomenally clean. We had a few issues with the stateroom. Again, yes. if you want to learn a lot more about the stateroom, we have a separate vlog. A vlog about it, yes. Stateroom had a few issues, just Correct. to touch on it. If you're watching now, just to kind of quickly talk about the stateroom. It was a bit worn. And there was some like fingerprints all over the doors. And, and somebody not actually just touch on that quick. Somebody asked in our comments about if you we smell any smoke in our room. I did not. No. Uh, no we never. didn't smell anything in our room in terms of smoking. No. So, uh, but I think that was one of the questions. Yeah, I got. actually answered. I Correct. forgot who sent it to me. But again, thank you for all the questions, comments, yes. and questions. I do my best to answer all of them. I may miss a couple along the way, but yes. as long as I'm able to keep up, I'll keep answering yes. everything that you guys send. And thank you so much, we everybody. Appreciate we appreciate yes. your support for our channel. I know you love the Questions, way. tips, you know. Oh, and even on the comments here, because we the what I was talking about cleanliness of ship was excellent, except for the room, a little bit of issues. But our, our state room attendant, yes. he took care of it. He was awesome. Yes. Um, and yes, because we're actually looking for a little advice on different excursions, because... One thing is, I don't know what it is, but it seems like we never want to leave the ship. <laughs> we uh, When we get to a port, we usually go around the port. and Okay, yes. come on, let's get back on there. Yeah, we do. But we want to start exploring some excursions. Our main concern is we do things yes. as a family. Jake is very, a huge part. If you watch Meddling World, yes. Jake is, he's with us. He loves our cruises. We're yes. going to make sure that we're doing things that we all enjoy. Um and the thing about excursions i'm always a little hesitant you know this is seven hours this yeah. is nine hours if anybody has some advice for a three or four hour excursion in one of these ports yes. yeah. we're looking maybe at the jeep one and i think it goes to the beach yeah something that you think jake would enjoy because the last thing that we want for any of us is to oh we have this seven hour excursion and oh man this is boring yes. or you because you got to pay you know so some comments some suggestions on yes. some excursions please Feel free to leave those in the comments yeah, section. Yeah, especially, you know, next time we go to a cruise, then you guys already know what cruise we're going to go and how it's Yeah, because we'll make it, so, and we're already yeah. checking on our next cruise. So yes. we will be having an announcement very soon about our next cruise. Yes. Um, maybe Royal, maybe another cruise line. I don't know. We'll have Let's to wait. See. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> uh, so that was the cleanliness. Ship was yes. great. Um, so lots of positives. One thing I do want to mention, Roberta, we were talking about this, is these huge ships. Yes. We have done plenty of three-night cruises. Yes. We love three-night cruises. Correct. When you're on these huge ships, though, we did a four-night, which, wow, four nights is great. Yes. We uh, when you live nights. in Florida, just to kind of touch, a lot of people, oh, man, how can you only go for three or four nights? When you live in Florida, it's different, yeah. guys. Uh, we're able to drive to the port and go yes. away for three nights, come home, and just, yes. like, going away for a little weekend somewhere. Yeah. So... When you live that close to ports, you don't have to fly. Yes. You're just, it's it's easier to miss a couple of days of work, uh, school, yes. things like this. That's why we really love the three and four night cruises. Yes. We have done a seven night. My recommendation, Roberta, I guess I could say what I didn't like was it was only four nights. <laughs> is, yes. that, is that okay to say I didn't yes. like it? Because of the size of the ship. The ship, it, ship is so big. It's so much to do. And, and yeah. yes, I agree. 
I'll definitely do it again, even a oh, three yeah. nights in that show. I would. Yes, yeah. of course I would. It's just that, would I prefer a seven? I yes. Ship that size. That Oasis size, class. Yes. I'll if you want to do a three or four, I would probably suggest, we can start getting into some of the comparisons and what we like and didn't like yeah. and things uh, about other cruises. I would suggest more the Freedom class on Royal, which is yes. like the Independence, the Mariner. Correct. Those are excellent three night cruises. Yes. We still have to like check all the smaller cruises too. Yeah, small ships, yeah. Yeah, but um, for yeah. us, we've been on Freedom Class and Oasis yeah. Class. It's just, again, we would definitely do another three or four yes. night. But when you really have a ship this size, I would recommend a yes. longer cruise. Yes. For sure. I do have my notes, guys. And I'm flipping. But I think we need to talk about comparisons. No. Yeah, let's, yeah, that's what I was just doing. Okay. So before this cruise, we better go ahead. I'm gonna, you, you know, you're doing so well. Just keep it roll. Just keep it coming out. Everybody wants to listen to Roberta. This is Roberta's <laughs> vlog. Go ahead, Roberta. Lay it on us. Start I doing. I think something. that the major thing about this cruise comparing to, for an example, we just did MSC. Yeah. Is the service. It's a huge, huge difference. Absolutely. And the food availability between one cruise and another cruise that everywhere you go you have food available and service on a, on on royal on royal which we didn't find that on msc for and now when you're you know i gotta get my two roberta's talking about included, included food options yes. food options yes with yeah with the cruise fare i think that's one of the major things for us that it is that's what we enjoy yeah yeah absolutely and Comparing to Disney and how, let's start with the Harmony first. All right, go ahead. So Harmony, they are very similar ship. You know, everybody knows. Like, but the fact that this one it felt like a little bit extra. It did. It did. It, it felt like did. like the laser tag. I think it really was really cool. And the Aqua Eight, I think it was a little bit step yeah, yeah. up. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the. Uh, what I liked, Roberta, yeah, I know, I just interrupted you, but <laughs> the uh, El Fresh yes, on the pool deck, I correct. liked a lot better than the Mini Bites, I think. It was yes. on Harmony. Here's some comparisons. Yes. The colors on the pool deck. Yes, the colors. It's the so tropical, colorful. Oh, yes. And the trees, and they also had the day beds. Yes. And the casitas you could rent. You could rent the casitas. I think, you know, the even though we didn't rent the, it, but it's still yeah. an option, you know? Yeah. And having a pool in a solarium, if you do yeah. enjoy staying in a solarium, I think that, <clears throat> I think this, the o Oasis, it was a little bit, a step up, uh, you know, yeah, comparing yeah. to Harmony. We loved Harmony. I, I, if I had, well, what you're basically saying right now is. If I had to pick, and the food was, <laughs> the food was yeah. so much better. If I had to pick between Harmony and Oasis of the Sea. I would pick Oasis of the Sea with a twist. Oh, all right. We like the twist. And we're not talking about soft serve ice cream. <laughs> Maybe we are. I don't know. We did not like the fact of everything that happened with Port of Miami. So, but I think the... The parking. The yes. parking and the traffic and getting yeah. in and the lack of information. Like, we didn't have to drive all the way to the port if we were carrying the luggage we didn't have to drive all the way in. If they had information, the parking was full way back. Yes. So things like that. But if maybe Oasis of the Sea was actually at Port Canago, <laughs> so yeah. I don't know. But how about how about what would you say if you had to say, oh, what, MSC versus Royal? I can't even. I'm sorry, no. Royal Caribbean. Oh yeah. Yes. To I me, can. Royal Caribbean. Maybe we should try the one of the biggest ships from MSC. Oh, well, we were on one of the biggest. <laughs> the new one, like the MSC this, Escape. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah no, I'm not saying thing, I would yeah. never try MSC is again. Is it an Escape? I think so. Yeah, the C, yeah, something, Seascape. Or, it, there's a brand new one yeah, anyway. it's a brand new one. It's in Miami now, but it is coming to Port Canaveral. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we try something like but, that. And yeah. Can, can, I, can I get my two cents <laughs> in? I'm going to go right after MSC right away, man. Because what, yes, okay, MSC is a little bit less expensive. Yes. So you are paying a cheaper rate for your cruise, but not enough for me to want to go back on it. Now, the service was not nearly as good. 
the people that we did encounter on yes. MSC were very good servers. Yes. There just wasn't enough. The guy in the main dining room had like five tables with like 12 people, some yes. of them. Uh, when you wanted to get a beverage, it was non-existent. Yes. You had there was no there. pool service. You yes. couldn't have a beverage in the theater. Yes. So. Because, oh, if you want to drink, you have to go to the special theater that you can yes. drink in and you got to pay Correct, like $13 to go and watch the show. So they really nickel and dime you on MSC, man. Correct. So I'm glad. And the included food was non-existent. It was main dining room. Yes. And the buffet. That's it. And the pool deck was like an extension of the buffet where yes. you enter into the buffet. They just kind of made it come out onto That's the pool it. deck. Yes. And you could grab like pizza and like a cheeseburger. Correct. Yes. That was it. If you were down on a promenade deck and you didn't have a beverage package yeah. or a, a included food, you had to go all the way up Yes. to the windjammer. I mean, no, theirs was, I, I don't even remember what it was called. The name, yes. And I don't mind that, I don't remember. I did not really think that it was an okay cruise. We Did we have fun? Of course. But, yeah. man, I'm so glad we went back on Royal. If I had to pick one, if you guys right now are watching and saying, oh, should I go on MSC or Royal? Listen. You watch our vlogs. Yeah. MSC, the ship is beautiful. Yes. It has a, it has things to do. Don't get me wrong, but it's just not as good to me. It's not. As it's good not as, as like, good. Yeah, compared to. Uh, and we also did a Disney. I would, you know, Disney's right there with Royal. I mean, the Disney Dream was a fantastic cruise. Yes. Smaller ship, more kind of the size of the Independence. Maybe Independence is even a little bit bigger, but. I thought the Disney Dream was a great cruise. Disney yes. has amazing service. Yes. The room was awesome. The food. Uh, the food was good. They Jake was a little younger then, so they really yes. did a great job with Jake. So MSC right now for me is really on the bottom of where I would choose to go with all the different cruise lines right, right now in full operation. Yes. But that's just me. And, you know... It doesn't mean people, we're not going to change our opinion next time oh, we go to I would, cruise, I yeah? will try again, MSC. Yes. I definitely will. But I just didn't think that it had enough, like, oh, wow, this is, like, awesome, you know. But, so, you know, it's just my opinion. And now Royal and Disney. That's when come the hard part for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody ahead, knows man. that I love Disney. I do. Yeah, I do too. Disney, there's a couple things that, you know, Disney is very expensive cruise line. Very expensive. But they do have, you know, the best servers. They have the best. Like you like said, the, 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 the room is amazing. The state room is amazing. The entertainment at Disney, if you like Disney. Oh, it's great entertainment. And it, it's, everything is amazing. And they have tons of adult. Correct. Only areas on Disney Cruise. So, you know. Where you wouldn't think it taking money away from the equation before i still would give a pixie dust to disney because oh, this is a great cruise disney, line man. it's it's wonderful the emotion that gets to you in disney but i do have to say between disney as of right now we just did the dream and it was a while back yeah and the oasis of the sea right now at this moment i'll pick oasis of the sea oh yeah i i most certainly would um, only and maybe because it's, we live at Dis. I mean, I, no, I Disney's Disney. right. Like, I love see Disney. my finger. It's right there. We're, I love we're, Disney. We're, we're right at Disney World, so we are immersed with Disney, yes. the town we live in. Everywhere you go, you see Mickey Mouse. You see a light. You see <laughs> we have a we have a power utility out yes. right outside here with yeah. Mickey Mouse head yeah. on it. You know. So yes. yes, do we love Disney? Yes. Do I love Disney Cruise Line? Yes. But. I just think for us, living so close to Disney, we're immersed in Disney, it's nice to, to just go on a different style of a cruise. And Oasis, it was really. What negative was, it was not even close of like all the things that it was so good about it. Oh, it was a great so, cruise. It was probably, you know, I always say, oh, this is the best cruise. I think it was a gr the best cruise we went on, man. I think so, too. I agree. I really do. So, yeah, it was it was just an amazing cruise, Roberta. Yes. We, it was the goods and the bads of what we liked, what we didn't like. You can see. I can see emotion yes. in you just talking about how much you loved yes. this cruise. It was. It was, it was ah, really it was so cool. great, man. It was amazing. Yes. I can't say enough about... I mean, we Royal is such an amazing time. cruise line, man. I, yes. I really got to say, of, not that we've done tons of cruise lines, no. but... I've done Carnival, I've done Disney, I've done Royal. We haven't done Carnival for the... For a while, for the channel. For I've the done channel. one before, yes. but 
to me, Royal is just... I want to go back on maybe Carnival at some point and try it again. Right now, for me, the best deal going is is Royal, man. But you were just talking about prices, Roberta. Disney and Royal... Dis the other... You know, they're, they're not far off. Is they're they not used, anymore. Before, it was almost three cruises to one. Now, you're talking yes. maybe two to one. Two to one, yes. And sometimes, so, not even. Getting, yes. So... Yes, Disney is still the most expensive line out there as far as I know with just basic cruising. But it, it's been, you guys, I, I see Roberta over here yeah. like with like her eyes welling up that she just loved this cruise so much. Because I also love Disney and you guys know how much Yeah, I so love she's Disney. like, she can't believe it. Is it <laughs> yeah. really what I'm, my vibes from her is I can't believe I like something better than Disney because what's better than Disney? Yeah. I guess Oasis yeah. of the Seas is according to Roberta yes. and me. I definitely think it's the best cruise I've been on. All right, guys. So there you have it. The, well, I'm just going to say the good yeah. of Oasis to the Sea. Some of our comparisons to our other cruises. Yes. Roberta's emotion <laughs> over picking Oasis of the Sea over the Disney Dream. Wow. And yeah. me, you know, I, I just thought the cruise was amazing. I it think was I awesome. have to do, I think we have to do Disney Wish. So just that yeah, way that, that's that's it. hey, you know, no spoilers here. <laughs> that might not be where we go next. And by but the way, it is on our list of we will be doing yeah. a wish at some point. Yes. Um. By the way, Jake's favorite was Oasis. Well. Jake's favorite was Oasis. He's at school right now. Yeah. Bert and I are off. We're not making magic at Disney World today. Yeah. We both have the same day off, so we're enjoying a day off, making a vlog for you guys. Thank yeah. you so much for watching Medlin World. Please take a moment, subscribe to Medlin World if you haven't yet. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, see ya!